So the project today is to install new uh, headers on the bike and for that I've purchased the SNS part number 550-004B and also the uh, trike adapter kit which is 550-0079 so we're gonna get this all installed alright so today we're gonna put on new headers on the bike and uh, I think to make it a little bit easier I'm going to take the body off um, that way I can get to everything underneath here get the mufflers off of the back and uh, uh, the only thing I guess I'm really dreading is the front uh, header pipe uh, the mounting of that um, there's not a heck of a lot of room up front uh, in that front uh, the first that first front cylinder there uh, to get the bolts out and that or the nuts out so first thing we're gonna do is get this seat off which in order to do that we just gotta remove the screw that's back here which is actually something that I made and it's kind of an extended uh, thing and then the next thing obviously is we got to take the backrest out of here so remove that and then we just lift the seat from the back and pull it forward and there goes the seat now the next thing to do is the uh, fuse since we're going to be playing with wires and that, it's always just safe to pull a fuse out of it. Simple to do, pull off the left side cover here. Your fuse is this big red one, this 50 amp one, just pull that out. And now we're safe to do a little bit of electrical work. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the body off uh, the trike. Um, to do that, I'm going to remove the tour pack. It's six nuts that are underneath the lid, or underneath the, uh, in the trunk area there. Um, and then there's actually only eight bolts that hold the body on. There's two in the front uh, up here over underneath the covers. Um, there's two like on a little firewall along the side and then there's four on the floor. So that's all there is to take the, the, the body off. Uh, it takes about a half an hour uh, and I've already done another video on taking a body off so I'm not going to film that today but uh, that's where we'll go and then we'll start on working on the new header pipes. Okay the body's off well, not off. I haven't taken it off. i got to wait for my wife to come home and lift it off here. But uh, I'm going to start now and getting some of the stuff out of the way. I'm going to take the heat shields off. And I'm going to drop this uh, footrest here down so we can get into the pipes. And uh, we'll start by taking... Uh, probably only going to have to take one bolt out of this one here. I'm hoping I can just swing it down. Um, and then we'll get the heat shields off. And uh, get ready to put it... Uh, Get ready to take the pipes off. Hey, right, so I just decided to remove the whole front floorboard, right side floorboard here. Uh, I think it'll give me more access into the everything I need to get into. So let's start taking off the heat shields. Okay, so to take off the heat shields is pretty simple. They're just like a uh, you know threaded clamp uh, that you take off, and you just unscrew those and. Uh, the sheet shield will come right off. So we got these screw clamps and I'm undoing those. Sometimes you might need to put a little penetrating oil on them or something because they do rust. And with this clamps off, the heat shield comes off. All right, let's work on the front shields here. All right, here's that one. All right, and that's it for the heat shields. Now that we got the heat shields off on the other side, we gotta get this one right here. And it comes off the same way. All right, just like the others, you just pull it off. That's it. So the next thing we're gonna do is get start loosening the bolts of the headers on the cylinder heads. And there's just two bolts that hold that on 
and I've got a half inch uh, socket for that. All right, one nut. All right, and two. Well, that's the easy one. All right, so the front header wasn't too bad. I was able to slip a, an extended socket up in front here, and now I'm slowly loosening the nut. This is the socket that I used. All right, and that's it. Now the front one, um, I actually went from the front of the bike, and you could actually see it, and I just used a half inch open end wrench and took that one off. So um, that's it for loosening those. Now we'll start working on the muffler clamps. All right, right below the transmission cover here is a bolt that we have to take out. And I'm gonna hold it down with this. It's a carriage bolt. And then I'll undo the bolt itself, the nut, with this. All right, and that's that. All right, now, down here, these are the O2 sensors. And there's one for the front pipe and there's one for the rear pipe. This one right here is the back pipe, and the one that we see down here, that's the front pipe. So the wires are routed for that. They go underneath that clamp that's right here. They go underneath that. They come out, they go up here, they go behind, they go behind the bracket here, come out over here, and then they plug in right here. And there's a white connector and a black connector. And I believe the black is back, but we'll have to take it apart and see. But uh, if not, I'll correct it. Um, but I'm pretty sure the white's the front and the black's the back. So let's just start cutting those wire ties. We've got a wire tie here. And then the cables are free. There's a connector underneath here. And that frees up those wires. Brings this out. Looks like we got a wire tie right here. And that frees them up now. This All right, so these connectors just pull off. Yeah, come on. There we go. Sometimes they're stubborn. There we go. All right. And we'll feed these through. And then now we'll try and identify which is which. So I've got this bottom one right here, and that is the white one, and that goes to the that goes to the front pipe. So back is black, and white is front. And we'll now take those off once we get the pipes actually off the bike. All right, now we got the body off. We're gonna loosen the muffler clamps and take these slip-ons off. All right, that's it, and then we'll get the pipes out. So the next thing we gotta do is, that muffler clamp's already been loosened there, but I've gotta take that bracket off, and then we'll take apart the uh, piece of the muffler pipe that goes over to the left side of the muffler, or of the motorcycle. Got the bolt off. Let's see if we can pull this pipe apart. And there we go. Let's see if we can get this short pipe off. All right. Make short work of that. Let's work on getting this header pipe off. Let's get the header pipes out. First thing we want to do is get these the flanges off. That pulls them out of the cylinder. We just kind of work this thing out of here. Work the front and the back. There we go. So there's a couple things we've got to take off this 
pipe. First of all, we've got this, this is actually a slip ring here. And I'm just going to put a little screwdriver underneath it. Kind of pry it up and over. And just like that, pull that off that one. And do the same with this one here. All right, because we're going to reuse these. Then we can pull the flanges off. And they have an indentation here where this fits in. So that's how those go. And then the next thing we want to do is remove the O2 sensors and a 9 16 inch wrench. We're just going to. These are pretty rusty. I'll put some anti seize on it when I put them back in. And that's all we got to salvage from the old pipe, so now it's time to open up the new ones. Alright, let's open up this box and see what we got. Big piece of foam. Bag of parts. The header assembly. And the crossover piece. So this is our new muffler, our new header, I mean. So the next box of goodies are the uh, the trike pipes that you need to have the muffler bend down into the body of the bike. So we get two of these pieces, a couple clamps. Oh, an SNS sticker. So that's what we got for the adapter. We got to get these pipes ready to put on. And first thing we do is we put the large adapter for the, in the bung hole here because we're going to put the O2 sensors in there and we don't have the large holes, so we have the small ones. So we applied a little anti-seize on to them. They were a little bit rusty coming out of the other pipe. Um, maybe this will help pulling them off in the future. So as we're looking at this, this is the front pipe. So the front pipe's hole is right here. And if you remember our color coding, white was uh, for the front and back, black is for the back. So this is the back pipe. So that means that this O2 sensor is going to go right in this hole right here. All right, and the front one's going to go in the front one right here. All right, and we'll get a wrench to tighten her up. All right, we'll just torque it down a little bit. All right. And the next thing we got to do then is install the slip-on rings and the flanges. So here are our flanges and our little slip ring here. <clears throat> now if you remember, it's got this indentation here where the flange will fit in there. So we put that on the pipe this way. Same way with this front one, this goes this way. Next thing we got to do is just work this thing back over the hole. There is a tool a slip ring tool that would push these things apart. Unfortunately, I don't have it, but if you just work it over just a little bit, you can get this thing to expand itself and then just slip right on the pipe like that. And there we go. Same way with the one up front here. So we just take this and put our screwdriver under it, span it a little bit, and then work it around. come up and it'll fit inside that groove there and then we'll tighten it up to the cylinder head. Now the next thing we're going to do is we've got to install new muffler gaskets and these are a cylindrical type and so the, they're fat on one side and skinny on the other so the fat part is going to go into the cylinder and then when we put the pipes on it because these pipes are rounded a little bit here they'll fit right over it just like that so just remember put that fat part back toward the back of the cylinder and then the, the skinny part goes to where the pipe's going to go. So to get those out I just got a little hook. I'm just going to go in and hook those and pull those out right now. Now I'm not <clears throat> sure how much you're going to be able to see but I'm just basically taking the thing in there and pulling out the old gasket. Alright, here we go and it popped out. 
kind of a pain to get out of there. Anyway, now I'll work on getting the front one out. Well, while we're here, we might as well put the new gasket in. And remember I said it's thicker in the back than it is the front. So we're going to thick, put the thick part into the back. And you just push it up in the hole up there. And that's got it. And the next step is to put the pipes up into the, into the cylinder heads and, uh, and then we can secure it. So you start out by putting the rear one in first and I've got them in but they're not in the slot yet so I'm going to have to do some finagling here to get them up in the slots. Finally got the pipes on. Uh, kind of a pain in the ass to tell you the truth. <clears throat> But we're on, and uh, the next thing we got to do is install the uh, one bracket, this bracket right here, that goes, this one right here clamps around the pipe, and it's kind of a pain, because it's open really wide, uh, so you can get it over the pipe, and then you got to kind of close it down, so I closed it down with uh, some clamps, and then used some... Uh, uh, channel locks and squeezed it and the next thing though is to put it and attach it to the bracket and the uh, when you see the diagram of the parts on your diagram sheet here it shows this bracket but it doesn't say anything and it's even got an SNS part number um, and when you're taking everything apart by the instructions it never really tells you to remove that bracket uh, but it's there so I gave a shout out to a friend on uh, Facebook, uh, JJ in Tallahassee, because he had just installed these same things, and he told me that, yeah, he did have the factory bracket also. So it's kind of misleading in the instructions getting that bracket number, and I'm not really sure why that's there, but if you run into it, that's what it is. So right now we're going to slip the carriage bolt on, try and squeeze this clamp together, get a nut on it, and tight, loose, we'll still leave it loose because the next section we got to do is a crossover piece underneath. So the next piece we're going to install is the piece that crosses over from this side over to the other side of the bike. And it's going to be held on by this clamp, which is put together like that. And we slip it over, over the pipe. And then we got a carriage bolt and a nut that goes on and that holds that clamp and we're going to actually just use the two screws that we pulled out on the clamp that was underneath the bike and uh, attach it to the frame. Um, also at this time we're going to put this, this clamp on which is going to go right here and you want to make sure that the Allen side is down so that when we tighten it up we'll be up underneath like that and we can get to it from the bottom or the side here. So let's get that piece attached. Alright, so I'm having a lot of problems with the muffler fitting. And one of the problems was that the this the swing arm here was hitting the pipe. So what I did was I cut a half inch off of this, moved this back, pounded that down a little bit, and now I've got that fitting okay. <clears throat> the next problem I have is the crossover pipe. So my next problem was the bracket here. And I could not get those two top bolts in with the way that the clamp setup was with the, with the clamp. So what I did was I got an extended carriage bolt and then I took the, the piece, the marrying piece here and I cut the top off of it so that now I can hook it in here And then I can bolt it up. The next thing I had to do was the crossover pipe wasn't working. So on this one, I then cut off another half inch right here. And then I had a problem when I put it in that the belt wouldn't the belt was rubbing the muffler. So I banged down that pipe so that it's somewhat flat, which is the way that this uh, the muffler is on the uh, on the OEM uh, part, and now it seems to be working okay. So, just a bunch of crazy stuff that just wasn't working right. So everything's all mocked up now, and connected. Pipes there, got room there. Mufflers there. 
those are connected over on this side then got the clamp I got a lot of play on the belt so I got no problems there so really a pain in the ass this thing just didn't put together right I think a lot of that might have to do with putting on these 14 and a half inch shocks because it is spreading the frame out a little bit uh, but anyway it is what it is and we just fabricate if we need to finally at the point now where we can start tightening everything up everything's all connected uh, the mufflers are in it's all just a matter now of going around and tightening up the various clamps and that so we're gonna start up at the front and we'll start on the cylinders first and we'll be tightening those it's a half inch uh, bolt or nut I mean and uh, you want to apply like even pressure on both sides uh, you know each like rotate uh, opposite nut so do a little bit of tightening on one of them one of the studs and then go to the next one do a little tightening and eventually you work yourself down so in doing that the the flange nuts are supposed to be 100 to 120 inch pounds so we'll go ahead and torque them uh, and tighten them up All right, now the header pipes are connected and now we're going to come down and connect the uh, clamp here for the cross pipe and then after that we'll go back and tighten up this one tighten up the clamp underneath there tighten these guys up tighten up the mufflers and uh, we should be good to go to start putting the covers on it <laughs> alright so when you put these clamps on here it's actually a, a metric allen wrench uh, that you'll use it's a six millimeter so it looks a lot like I think a quarter uh, American but you'll start spinning the head so use uh, a metric six millimeter all right now we got all the clamps tightened so we're gonna go underneath here and tighten this up all right so before we put the chrome pieces on the pipes I tell you to clean the header and everything crossover and all the other pipes uh, because you don't the grease and oil from your hands will burn and discolor not really sure why they're worried about the headers but we might as well just go ahead and clean them all right now we'll get the chrome pieces on right all right so the next thing we're going to do is put the chrome pieces on <coughs> and this is the one for the crossover pipe that goes on the driver's side and you need to open up these screw clamps and you want to do a test fit so you know which way it's going to go because you want to have the screw part of it showing probably like underneath or just in some way that uh, you know you can get to the the nut part here to uh, to do it so I'll go take a look at that and come back so I determined this is how this piece goes on and I want the screw clamp part pointing down so I can get it from underneath so I'll put these two pieces these two clamps through the unit like that and then now it's a matter of just spreading these out and slipping the pipe on and then uh, putting the getting the screw part in and then we'll just tighten it up that parts put on now we'll do the other two all right on this one it's going on like this so I threaded this clamp from this side around the two over here I'm going to come from the other side because then this the screw part will push be pointed down below the bike so that's all we got to do so let's go put it on the bike it's all on um, I, I gotta admit one thing there's a clamp that's supposed to go right here I have no idea how in the hell to get that thing on there. There's no room here between this cover and there's no room between the other pipes. So I said, eh, eh. so um, it's tight, that's fine. Uh, one thing I did find though was when I put these covers on, uh, the muffler clamps, I had to move those and adjust those. They would not fit over those heat shields. So. 
Um, keep that in mind when you're putting it together. I had to adjust this one and I had to adjust the crossover pipe. Um, I also had to do it over on the uh, other side over there, the small short pipe. Actually this one I didn't, I got lucky just the way the thing was put in. So, But keep that in mind, these three muffler clamps here, here, and the one on the other side, uh, they will not be, because of the way that they're made, they're, they're really hard to get to fit uh, on this and they've got to kind of go underneath here so it's, it's really important you know where the clamp is uh, when you put it on. But anyway, now I'll clean up these pipes and uh, put my floorboard back on, put my other floorboard back on, and then work on getting putting the thing all back together. Alright, everything's done. It's all put back together. Pipes are all on, clean and shiny. Everything looks good back here. So, the only thing I got to do now is put in a new tune to the ECM, and uh, that should do it. Now, hopefully, uh, any heat issues that I had with the cats there, and I've got pretty much straight through pipes now.